Hey there everyone, this is Colin from Glass Half Broken, and usually with these types of cooking food type videos, they don't really show their face, but sometimes they'll show their hands, so I guess that's what I'm doing here. Alright, so basically, I'm going to turn this pink lady apple into the rainbow sphere. Now, you can use any kind of apple you want, but I, I use the pink lady apple because it's a little bit more tart. You can use a, a honey crisp apple would be fine, a Fuji apple, but uh, my, my personal preference is the pink lady apple, and I think that's the perfect one for the rainbow sphere. Now, here's what you're going to need is, well, obviously the pink lady apple, but then also the fruit roll-up. Now, here's the thing. Once again, you can use any kind of fruit roll-up, but I use the tropical tie-dye because I feel like that's the best. These two, this combination is is really good. It's really strong. Like with the the, the tartness of the pink lady apple and just the taste of the tropical tie-dye of all those those flavors all all coming together. It's good stuff. All right, now here I happen to have one already ready, already off of the uh, the plastic here, and there it is, right there. And uh, as you can kind of see it, it is in fact, it looks like it's tie-dye, it's, you know, as, as the, the name of the fruit roll-up would imply. And basically all you're going to do is just drape that right over it, like that. And then you just kind of like, I wash my hands beforehand, and um, I also wash the apple as well. So you know, it's all, everything's safe. I, I just decided not to show that, but all right, do that and just kind of like mash that in there. Now you can, like it doesn't cover the entire apple, so if you wanted to, you could get a second one, but I think that's a bit overkill. I mean, that's you're, you're already eating two fruit roll-ups and an apple is pretty crazy, but you can, if you want, get a second fruit roll-up and cover up that other part, but I think it's it'll, it's just fine with just this part right here, and you can finish off the rest of the apple on fruit roll-up. Alright, so then, you know, once it's, like, in there like that, then real quick, it's right there, and it's like, yeah, and it'll stick. It'll it'll absolutely stick onto there. So first, uh, so here's uh, an interesting thing you can also do. I'm going to take a, qu a quick bite out of it uh, off screen here. So hang on one second. Oh, it's so good. But here's an interesting thing. Now that you have that, what you can do, you can take some of that part and you just kind of like put it into the bite. And you'll notice, you can, you can see a little bit there. Oh, it's so good. All right, anyway, so you got like a little bit of the fruit roll-up flavor and you get that into the apple proper and not just the skin. So you can actually kind of like, and if you want to, peel a little bit from that part and just kind of get it in there. Get that flavor in there. Yeah, and then you can kind of see that, yeah, the inside is turning a, a different color. You know, the color of the tie-dye fruit roll-up. And there you go. It's kind of like it's kind of like one of those caramel apples, but instead of caramel, you've got a fruit roll-up. It's pretty great. It's delicious. It's very tart and sweet. And once again, the tropical tie-dye fruit roll-up and the pink lady apple, I think, are it's the perfect combination for that. And it is terrible for you because it's got a fruit roll-up on it. But whatever. That, no, that doesn't matter. It's delicious. All right. Well, you know, if you want to, you can make your own variation and let us know what you did. Maybe you, maybe you found a more delicious combination. Let us know, and uh, don't forget to, to to like the video, share it with friends, and uh, don't forget to uh, to tell your dog that you love him. All right, see you guys later. Bye.